Hello, I'm the Reverend Dr. John C. Dorhauer, General Minister and President of the United Church of Christ. I'm part of the religious tradition that our president referred to as the other side. So are many of the members of the church that I serve. Now, I'm not prone to speak on their behalf because I support the right of all members of the faith to speak for themselves. In this case, though, I feel that I'm on solid ground in saying to our president, <laughs> we are big believers in religion. Now, you may call us progressive and with good reason, and you may call us liberal and with good reason. You may call us radical. We like to say we aren't radical, we're early, and with good reason. But you should not, Mr. President, call us the other side. We like to think that both left and right, both liberal and conservative, both radical and traditional citizens are true Americans and can be people of faith. You should know that our teachings and beliefs, though they may differ from yours, are held not in spite of what our religion teaches us, but because of it. Caring for the immigrant and the refugee, fighting for health care for all, educating our children, feeding the poor, and loving all God's children are all things we learned while practicing our religion. Whether we voted for you or not, whether we support your political choices or not, whether we call ourselves Democrat or Republican, and in my particular religious body, we have members who fit all those categories. We are Americans with the capacity to worship our maker and practice our faith as one in spite of our differences. Our hope and desire is that you would embrace the differences that make us a greater country. Trying to force people into a belief structure consistent with your own is about as un-American as it gets. I would invite you to hearken back to the words of one of your predecessors, who in 1858 and before serving two terms in your office wrote this, a house divided against itself cannot stand. It is heartbreaking to me and so many others that you, our president, are feeding division upon which we cannot stand. And speaking on behalf of all sides, people of faith and people of no faith, left and right, I invite you, Mr. President, to unite rather than divide. Please do not refer to any of the people you lead while in office as the other side. And for God's sakes, Please do not then say something as ridiculous as they're not big believers in religion. Our long history as the people practicing our faith would suggest otherwise.